Hello, and welcome to another edition of MCI Sizzles. We're so glad to be back for another edition, and uh, today we're going to feature a number of very exciting components of the Miami Culinary Institute. With me right now is Chef Colin Engel, who was the first instructor that we brought here to Miami to start this innovative new program. Chef Engel and I actually worked together in Louisville, Kentucky at Sullivan University, where we, right. we spent a lot of time thinking on how would we change the world if we had the opportunity to. Right. And Miami-Dade College gave us that opportunity by allowing us to be here from the beginning of a very innovative new culinary program. Uh, Chef mm -hmm. Engel, welcome to Miami. Yeah, glad to be here, John. It's been two years now. Our program is well underway. So as I say, changing the world, and when we had those conversations a few years ago, uh, how do you think we're doing, or what are some of the key components of how we approach our program that can truly revolutionize the process by which we train our next generation of culinary professionals? Yeah, well, you know, we had a, basically a clean slate to work from when we came here. So we had an opportunity to create a curriculum that was really different and innovative than any other culinary school in the country. So we have had the opportunity to um, put things in front of the students that have never been seen before. For instance, our um, ability to teach them molecular gastronomy, let's say, or our ability to have them help us get our operations underway and so on. So we really are looking at um, our students as a uh, working alongside us, as you've often said to the students, working alongside us to help us create and drive this program. And I think it's been working so far. Well, out of the process of designing curriculum, and Chef Engel is probably the key architect of our uh, innovative new curriculum. Uh, tell us some of the favorites that you've developed. Each semester we develop class by class. So we're just now finishing up the last two classes of our entire right. program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, we've done some things that uh, I don't see in any other schools. For instance, as we go along, we're, uh, we start with the basics like most schools do, but then we reinforce the basics in, in production two. And then we do a lot of challenging of the students. We have informal competitions. Um, we delve into uh, exploring molecular gastronomy. We delve into nutritional aspects of cooking. And then as we move forward, like Gar Manger, again, we have a lot of the traditional um, things that we need to teach, but we are doing, going beyond, for instance, in our cheese making and doing hard cheeses, and we have our own little cheese cob and so on. Um, but the real innovation is coming in, in classes like um, culinary competition and our production three. In culinary competition, we are letting the students go out into the community and demonstrate. We are having our students get on NBC TV and do their own demonstrations and then have it broadcast to the NBC community. Um, they are building confidence, they're building skills. And production three, as you know, and you can speak a little bit more about it, but we're going to go into a whole um, area where our students, or most students, never get to go, and that's the design and running of a restaurant. What a fantastic time, and I know our students are really, really enjoying the experience. Another thing that we have, at least at this moment, we have the most cutting edge, advanced culinary school as far as technology goes. Yeah. And how do, have you found your experience working with state-of-the-art technology, which is unusual yeah. for most culinary schools that have been around for a long time, and the experience of sharing uh, the training of that equipment with our students. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable again. I mean, we um, have pretty much any equipment that is available to um, a restaurant. So we have sous vide equipment. We have um, um, convection ovens and combination ovens. We have smokers. Um, we really are allowing our students to be exposed to equipment that is on the cutting edge in the restaurant uh, field or the food services field in general. We have had in the past um, exposure to food truck work here. Um, our students uh, have the opportunity to learn how to run this equipment and we've got great cooperation with the vendors as well that are selling us this equipment who are happy to come in and demonstrate or, 
or teach us more about that equipment as well. Has, has any of the equipment challenged you to have to actually of learn? Of course, you know, I, I've been on the phone uh, <laughs> with the equipment vendor as well, trying to learn how to use it, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe some of the specific equipment that is really unusual is the system that we have for composting, which is a system that our students take leftover food products to a particular room where we have a pulping system that delivers uh, a pulp down to the first floor of our building where an extractor separates the water from the food, water's recycled, and then uh, the food matter drops into a dehydrator. Yep. And then every 18 hours, 100 pounds of food becomes 18 pounds of compost that we take back to our organic garden. So if you would, this has been a process that we've continued to develop over the past year. Yep. And now for the first time with our garden at full swing, mm -hmm. we're actually able to engage the whole system. How do you, what perspective do you put on that from the, uh, from the students? Well, again, our students leave school with um, green and organic in mind. They take that out to the community, to the city of Miami or where, whatever community they end up in, and they want to implement those techniques. Um, it's a matter of habit, getting them to, so that recycling and separation of garbage becomes a habit. And we have to reinforce that in every class, but our students are catching on and our students are also trying to get involved as far as recycling um, containers and helping us out in the school. And our whole uh, building, as you know, is um, up for LEED certification. Um, and we are on, again, the cutting edge technology with our systems for lighting and air control and our hood vents and so on that shut off and on automatically. So our students are seeing all this and they're not even realizing how much is going to impact them in the future when they get out to work. Very exciting. Chef Engel, thank you for spending time with us today. I know that we're getting excited because we have our first graduating cohort coming yeah. up this May. So yeah. we will actually have our first uh, student graduate. And that's a very proud Papa moment. <laughs> for more information on the Miami Culinary Institute, 305-237-3276. And that's www.miamidadeculinary.com. Please stick around. We're going to be doing the next segment on our MCI Culinarium Series. Fresh thinking is being served at Miami Dade College. Create your own recipe for success in the evolution of food culture at the Miami Culinary Institute. Learn the skills you need to jumpstart your career in the culinary arts. Turn green into gourmet and celery into salary. Miami Culinary Institute. Food. Culture. Innovation. Visit us at MiamiDadeCulinary.com. Register now. Miami Culinary Institute. The School for Continuing Education and Professional Development has an outreach center in Aventura. At this center, we offer after-school programs for children to improve their artistic abilities while improving their grades. We also offer programs for seniors that include floor arrangements, jewelry making, arts and crafts, acting, and so much more. For more information or to register, you can visit us online or call 305-936-2585. everybody welcome back to MCI Sizzles this segment we're going to focus on a really exciting component of the Miami Culinary Institute which is our culinarium series culinarium is the name that we came up for the uh, enthusiast learning series where we actually let anybody from the community come in and participate in a educational class and we hope that it's a class that's very very fun I have with me today two chefs 
We have Chef Christopher Jennings and Chef Cody Alstott, who uh, are two of our key culinary instructors. And uh, CJ, I'd like to start with you for just a second, maybe a little bit about where you come from professionally, and then we'll talk about some specific courses that you do with our Culinarium series. Thank you, John. I appreciate being here. Uh, the, the bulk of my background has been in the hotel business. Uh, I've worked for the uh, Fairmont Hotel, Four Seasons Hotel, Hyatt, Nico Hotels for the last 20 years. I got into the, uh, the teaching realm about four years ago and just really fell in love with the opportunity to share the passion, share the experience along to the uh, students and, and the people that really want to be there. And the, the great thing about the culinarian program that you all have put together is that we have the ability to come in and really inspire the people that want to be there. And it's, it's a great fun program for anybody, as you said, it's not necessarily a student driven program, it's a community driven program that anybody that wants to come in that is enthusiastic about the field itself could come in and, and learn and have some great fun and do some really great things. Well, you are a pastry chef extraordinaire. I've seen you. your work for several years now. And pastries are one of those things. It's a little bit different than just cooking. And I know that we have a lot yeah. of people in the community that love to come in and learn those techniques. So you have an amazing series posted on our website right now for the spring series. Let's pick a couple of maybe what your favorite courses are to teach this, this spring. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the it's funny, people ask me a lot, you know, what's your favorite dessert? What do you, what's your favorite thing to make? After doing this for 25 plus years, I don't eat a lot of what I make. Uh, <laughs> but my one weakness is ice cream and sorbets, and that's one of the uh, series that we're offering. And to be able to, and, you know, what better place, Miami, Florida, it's generally warm here throughout the year. It, it's a great business to get into if, if that's something that you want to delve into. There's not a lot of overhead involved. Uh, and just having the opportunity to show the people that want to come in and learn about making ice creams properly, making spoons, making sorbets, granny tays, all these things, all these frozen desserts, uh, basically is the realm that it falls under. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, and at the end of the day, even if it's just a hobby, what better hobby can you have? You get something great to have when you're done you know, making your product. So. Well, we're in the right city with temperatures that are rather absolutely. toasty all year around. <laughs> Ice cream's in season all the time, yes? For the most part, I would absolutely agree with that, yeah. Uh, amazing. Well, we have sweet and savory. Sweet yes, and savory. So, Chef CJ's on the sweet side. We're going to switch to savory for a moment. Uh, Chef Cody, how about a little bit about where you came from before you joined us here at MCI? All right. Well, I, I come from both restaurants and hotels. Uh, I've worked at the uh, Four Seasons, the uh, Marriott Hotels, uh, a couple restaurants, uh, Houston's and Primo. Um, so that's where I kind of get my uh, background from professionally. And um, it's great to be here. Wonderful. Well, we've Again, this spring we have a tremendous series, and, and you're one of our lead culinary instructors, and you have many, many, many different types of classes, but I think we've identified maybe what we think are a couple of the most important, and then perhaps one of your favorites. So I think most importantly are some people who come here just want to start to learn how to cook. I don't know how to boil water. So what courses do you teach that uh, are for those kinds of cooks? We teach a basic cooking skills series and we start with one and go two and three. And on one we basically look at what chefs do fundamentally to make our food taste good. Stocks, sauces, and soups. And then we branch off from there and we learn the cooking methods that we use in the restaurants. Then uh, I teach them how to use those techniques properly. and. By the time we get to three, they're kind of doing it on their own. So when they leave out of there, they have me instructing them. By the time they leave, they're kind of doing it on their own. So we kind of reiterate some of the stuff we've learned in one and two, but I kind of let them go on their own a little bit. And I kind of stand in the back and kind of just guide them through it. Is that hard to do? Just stand in the back and... It is, and it's fun <laughs> at the same time because you are watching what they came in not knowing anything and they're graduating to, you know, using equipment and tools that we use that they had no idea what they were when we got there, you know, when they got there, so... So when you teach your class, Chef, how many students are in a class? 
Uh, we have usually 16. That's 16. Uh, where we're capable of handling is 16, and uh, that's a handful. Is that a frightening thing when you're doing basic knife skills for the first time with 16 people holding a knife? Not for me. Why is that? Because I'm not the one using the knife. <laughs> they are. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, CJ, back to you for yes, a minute. Sir. I'll tell you, one of the favorite ones that I've seen mm -hmm. being taught was your wedding cake series. So why don't Very you successful. walk us through that, please? Well, what's really interesting about the wedding cake series is you're, you're getting both uh, basically almost two classes in one. Number one, you're learning how to bake cakes from scratch. You're learning how to store them properly, how to fill them properly, how to uh, make buttercream icing, how to use rolled fondant icing, how to decorate, how to assemble it properly so that it is structurally, uh, has the structural integrity to travel and stand and be shown because typically the two most important things of a wedding that people do remember is number one, the wedding dress of the bride, but the reception is really the wedding cake. That's really kind of the focal point of the reception. And it's one of the things that are really looked upon as, oh, you know, it's, it, could make, it could really make or break an event. And the, the great thing about it is basically there's, they are individual cakes that are assembled to create this beautiful uh, product at the end of, you know, at the end of this, um, uh, the production. And so you could, if you know how to bake a cake, you can make a wedding cake. And what we do is we take the student into the realm of teaching them how to make that properly, how to just make it beautiful. And the great thing about cakes in general and baking in general, you're only, uh, you're only held up by your imagination. So if you can imagine it, you can really build it. You know, there's a lot of engineering involved in it. There's a lot of geometry involved in it. So there's a lot of aspects of d different industries that come in to make something that one really wouldn't consider would be part of that pro uh, process. Thank you, Chef. The Wedding Cake is my favorite course from the sweet side. Chef Cody's date night that he has on Friday nights where people bring dates is my favorite from the savory side. For more information about Culinarium, 305-237-3276. And our whole schedule is posted on our website, www.miamidateculinary.com. Please stay tuned. Our next segment, I'm going to feature some of our folks from our hospitality management program talking about the incredible industry that we have here in Miami and hospitality. En Miami-Dade College, el fogón está encendido, la mesa está servida y tu receta al éxito espera en el Miami Culinary Institute. Aprende las habilidades de una carrera fascinante en las artes culinarias. Recuerda que el amor entra por la cocina y un buen sueldo también. Miami Culinary Institute. Innovación, cocina y cultura. Visita MiamiDadeCulinary.com. Matricúlate ya. Miami Culinary Institute. El programa de educación continua y desarrollo profesional tiene un centro en aventura. Con muchas clases disponibles, este centro tiene el curso indicado para usted. Ofrecemos cursos como introducción a la computadora, Microsoft Office, diseño gráfico y certificaciones en tecnología de computadoras. Para más información y para matricularse, llámenos al 305-936-2585. Su futuro está en sus manos. Matricúlese ya. Welcome back to our final segment of MCI Sizzles, and I'd like to introduce to you right now Shelly Fano and Professor Maritza Morero. Welcome. Well, thank nice you, to be Jack. here. There is another side. At the Miami Culinary Institute, we do have culinary. We have chefs in training, but in this huge industry, there's so much opportunity for hospitality, which was here long before culinary at Miami-Dade College. And uh, these are the first people that I met when I moved here and studied about the hospitality industry to better understand what we, uh, what our role is as far as culinary within that industry. So uh, Shelley, 
talk to us about the hospitality management program. As director, you've shepherded along the evolution of the courses that have been developed for the program. Tell us a little bit about the program. Thank you, John. We have an associate in arts degree, which is 60 credits. We have an associate in science. And carved out of the associate in science, we have college credit certificates for those folks who want to come for short-term learning. Uh, Maritza, when you teach, is there a particular favorite that you have when you work with your students? Um, I have a lot of favorites. I, I really can't say that I like one more than the other because they're all so different, but I think that um, I like the marketing and sales classes a lot because um, the students really learn a lot about um, how to uh, market their products and a lot of them they're they're thinking about being entrepreneurs so they um, they get to see how, they get to be very creative in that class and we have a uh, marketing plan competition in that class and I'm always amazed at the things they come up with and the the uh, the products that they develop and the, um, the, the different ways that they um, come up to promoting those products and, and they're just, uh, they're amazing. So as you prepare your students to enter into the hospitality field, let's talk about the industry and the careers yeah. that, that you're preparing your students for. Well, you know, a lot of people have the misconception that um, careers in the hospitality industry are limited to the front entry jobs that they see when they go into a restaurant or a hotel, but it's a lot more than that. It's about the whole tourism and hospitality industry, which is just so wide. There's just, I think that that's the big attraction, that we have so much variety. I got, it's my colleagues and me, myself, uh, I've worked in resorts, I've worked for airlines, computer reservation systems of airlines, I've worked for um, the tour business as well and the travel business as well and it's all under the same umbrella of, of uh, hospitality and tourism and so it's not uncommon to see and I have a lot of colleagues and friends that for instance they've worked in um, sales for a hotel and they've gone on to work for sales in a cruise line because the same skills and abilities that you have in one position they can translate to the other position and that's how they've gone up the ladder um, it's not uncommon in our industry to see people that they start off at the front desk and then they go into revenue management and then someday become director of sales and marketing it's, it's very common and you know another advantage of working in our field is that um, hospitality companies they like to promote from within I mean it's usually their policy so if you if you start off with in a large company uh, just the, the possibilities are endless and you can go into for instance a training department be in training and then go and they send you to open up a new hotel in India for instance and um, you could be in sales and they send you to also train and open up a hotel in Hawaii. And so it's, um, it's, it, there's never a dull moment in our industry. Never a dull moment. And I know recently in an Academy of Hospitality and Tourism event that I attended, they let us know that right now Miami is the number one city in the world to watch over the next 15 years as far as where hospitality is going to be exploding. What an exciting time to be here. Shelly, I'd like you to share a little bit about maybe some of the connections that we make, not just in our students who are going into the career field, but the amount of organizations that you belong to that are peripheral to hospitality that create this pathway for our education to hit our students to then go out into the industry and become part of the workforce. We're very fortunate that we receive scholarships from the Black Hospitality in Institute which is under the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. We get scholarships from Bacardi under the Wabi organization. Um, the industry has really begun to shine on our program, offering these scholarships for our students, hospitality students, as well as culinary students. And they also give us internships, which is another advantage that we have in our program. Our students are able to come in, study, and at the same time do co-op work study. Both Maritz and I are the faculties that work with the co-op work studies. Um, many of the big hotels will get our students to come in and do internships, cruise lines, shipboard shoreside, 
So um, the big advantage of our program is having these type of work opportunities, hands-on experience for our students. Is Disney a part of that? Absolutely. We have Disney College program. Thank you for asking about that, John. It's so exciting for the students. They will go up for a semester to Disney, either in Orlando or over in California, do work study there. They get credit for doing work on the job training, and they also could take classes at Disney and get college credit here at Miami-Dade College. Well, speaking of Disney, I know that you're planning a trip to Orlando very soon. Is that going to Disney or something else no, with your students? No, but we're going to be near Disney. Okay, what are you uh, doing? We're going to be staying at Lake Buena Vista, and uh, we're, uh, we just opened up a chapter. I'm also the advisor to the Student uh, Association, and uh, we opened up a new chapter of minorities in the hospitality industry, and they're having their 24th annual conference and it's going to be held in Orlando this year and we're going to be going soon, February 21st. And uh, the students are going to be able to um, attend many workshops that's, that's, that are going to be helpful to them in their careers. They're going to be able to network with huge corporations and um, have a good time. Well, I know you do many different things throughout the year with your students and I know that they love that. We're also going to Italy this year, yes? Yes, that's very, right. Very, very exciting. Are. Yes. Well, listen, thank you both so much for sharing thank a little you, bit about the hospitality world. For more information on the Hospitality Management Program, please dial 305-237-3267 or go to the main Miami-Dade College website at www.mdc.edu. Come downtown and visit us very soon at our Culinarium Series. More information about hospitality and culinary. And don't forget our exquisite Tuyo restaurant on the eighth floor of the school. Fresh thinking is being served at Miami-Dade College. Create your own recipe for success in the evolution of food culture at the Miami Culinary Institute. Learn the skills you need to jumpstart your career in the culinary arts. Turn green into gourmet and celery into salary. Miami Culinary Institute. Food. Culture. Innovation. Visit us at MiamiDadeCulinary.com. Register now. Miami Culinary Institute.